I terminated the agreement between the Department of Chamor Affairs and Mickey Taxi. The agreement between Mickey Taxi and the Chamorro Village came under question after complaints were lodged by other taxi companies who felt they were left out of any sort of bidding process, and it appears government procedures were circumvented in entering into the agreement with Mickey Taxi Service. The government of Guam has laws that prescribe for the procurement of any type of services from the private industry for public service. The Guam administrative rules requires that, in this case, we come out with a letter of interest to invite, at the very least, three other companies to, to give their um, offering to the Department for Taxi Services. Acting President Joseph Cameron says he does intend to issue a letter of intent to as many companies as possible, and that should alleviate the problems and soon restore the fleet service to the Chamorro Village. The only thing that the, the agreement would look like in the future would be that the company that has a fleet would be given specific uh, parking spaces. Uh, it does not prohibit any other company from coming in and dropping off their customers or picking them up. And the only difference primarily would be that they won't have a specific parking slot as the prior agreement was showing.